All right, what is going on, everybody? Brian back with another live stream. Is my cat? No, no, that's good. We're not blurry, right? I don't know why it still shows Zomboid. That's totes, not what's on the screen. But how are you guys doing tonight? We just did some Zomboid earlier. Uh, we're going to be jumping in and continuing our playthrough of Metro Exodus. Uh, last episode, we went ahead and uh, we finished the first area. We ended up pushing into the second area. And uh, the second area was pretty legit, guys. It, 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 we rolled up to this giant gate. We were supposed to link up with the government. And it ended up being um, some like bandit group that's like cannibals. It's really, really savage. Hey, Blue Ford Focus, what is going on? YouTube uh, threw me in the algorithm. I appreciate YouTube for doing that. <laughs> but welcome, man. Hopefully I can uh, convince you to become subscribed to the channel if you uh, enjoy games like this, man. Um, but yeah. I, uh, I'm hoping that this new area has tons to offer like the last one. Probably not. It seemed a little more indoors, so uh, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Hey, Blue 4 Focus, I appreciate the sub, man. Seriously, appreciate it, dude. Oh, Johnny, my day is going great, man. Really, really good, actually. Really, really good. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get back into this. So we escaped being eaten. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. And uh, direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved. Our our goal is we got to try to find Anna because she was taken. So uh, oh yeah, change my mouse settings. Should be all right. Too fast. Man, why do I? I gotta get this figured out, guys. It's so annoying. There. That'll work for now. All right, here we go. Gust, Gustavo, what is going on, man? Okay, so this is the point of no return, I take it. So would you have to reroute power from one door to another? Yeah. Do I prefer... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a mouse and keyboard guy. Um, all the way. Once again, it's going to take me a little bit to get used to the mouse acceleration. Oh. Let's see if we can get some more health items crafted. Yeah. So these guys had melee weapons. So the game kind of just forced me into combat here. There was not much I could have done.
strip all their guns for parts. Something was just in my eye. Yeah, these dudes are actually insane. So I might be able to pull off stealth from this point forward. Hillenhin, what is going on? Yo, wow, yo, yeah, they're, they're really eating people out here. See, that looks like beef right there. That's normal. That's normal beef, but yeah, the human head on the scale definitely looks like a human heart in the jar. That looks like human entrails, arms. Yeah, these dudes are savages. The family, Sam, with the membership, welcome to the family. Thank you so much for that. How are you? Well, they said they had to test her to make sure she was edible, so... I don't think they're just gonna go right to eat in her, you know? See? Alright. This guy's grabbed, picked the wrong group, I'll tell you that. Look at this. Mike with the eight months, dude. Two first ask questions later. Boot gang for sure, man. How you doing, Mike? Yeah, these dudes are straight insane. Okay, sounds clear. The music slowed down. Zach, yo, what is going on? Oh, yeah, see that all the time. The pencils, man, you gotta watch out. Any goodies for us? Why can't we take those bullets, man? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get some steel balls crafted before we push into this area. I'm hoping that I can, uh, stay in stealth, but we all know how that's probably gonna go.
So we're gonna try to black this out. Oh, nice. What kind of scope is that? That might be a, a night vision scope. I think this will shut off all the lights, right? No, that's turning all the lights on. Shit. So we got to be careful so we don't end up like that guy. Kyle, what the sub? Thank you so much. Nah, man. My hair just, I don't know. It just grows... I'm really, really stupid, man. I hate it. I like, uh... I know some people, man, they get they get haircuts and that shit lasts like three weeks, man. I get, a, I get a haircut, that shit lasts like a week. Before it's no longer looking that fresh. Waste with the sub, man. Thank you so much. Nah, hey, Rich, you're not joking though, man. It, it, it's it, it's super annoying, dude. It's like actual facts, man. Oh, we're screwed. So this gun is not good. Like, I feel like I, I use a lot of ammo for it. You guys hear this shit? We'll see how this goes. Booty lovers world. What is going on?
Yo, the metal detector is super uh, annoying. It, it is super annoying. And I, it's only pointing me towards those little, like, metal canisters. I'm like, yo, dude, not worth it. I appreciate that sub. Seriously. And welcome. Welcome all the people who are new to the channel. I really do appreciate you guys being here. These dudes are all insane. Like, they're super all about that meat. Oh, we got a new attachment for AKs. Let me see what that is. Okay, so uh, we also got a new scope. So this is, yeah, that's a night vision scope. Um, but this. This is an infrared laser, so this is only visible um, with night vision. So, can the enemies see my red dot? I'll take it with that, they can no longer see my, uh, my laser sight. I don't understand what the purpose of needing an infrared would be unless the enemy could see it. Oh shit, dude, busted out an AK. Uh, this is just the second area. I don't know how many areas there are all together, but we're in we're in the second one, so Why is my meat gone? So what was up top then? Yeah, this game is really, really cheap right now, guys. Batzilla, what the sub? Thank you so much and welcome. Was this just a... So he could shoot me. I couldn't shoot him through the bars, though. So I don't I don't know what the two different areas are.
should have roasted them fucks. Oh, Jesus. Man, these people are... They've lost it. Thoughts on DayZ? DayZ is an amazing game. I actually wanted to play it on the channel. Uh, we just haven't got around to it yet because obviously DayZ is such a big game. So, are these con two areas connected? I think they are. Yep, they're all connected. Got it. This was just a little shortcut. <laughs> Who are they shooting it out with is what I want to know. Man, they hit me with a molly. Uh, Red Dead Two is pretty, pretty amazing. Dude's hitting me through shit, man. See, so this area feels a lot more like the original Metro, to the first two Metro games, which were very kind of linear and indoor. And, and it's nice that the game kind of doesn't lose what it was, you know what I mean? It has like a little bit of everything. How was that?
was not ready for that dude to chew through the freaking shelf I was hiding behind. And he had mega armor on. Uh, let me see. I got some grenades, I believe, somewhere. Let me see here. Um... I don't think you can get through this dude's armor. I hit him with two grenades and it did nothing. Lauren Woods with the sub. Thank you so much. So I think maybe we just got to move around the room. So next time... Teenagers, dude, thank you. Teenagers donated $10. Hey, you got this. What game is next? How's the kid? Teenagers, um, looking at playing, uh, starting Nuka World tonight after this, possibly. And, um, my daughter is doing good, man. Uh, the bump's actually going down. Yo, we actually killed him. So, what the hell is this? Leonard Sanchez, what is up, man? How you been? Saying that's the uh, Gatling gun. It seems like it's all right. It's a little uh, 
for like big fights and shit like that, but I would I would only use that against something like boss mode. Super tanky. Can't be healthy to have that in what is this, the the med bay? Got a bunch of meds and shit in here. Jesus. Damn. Peter, what is up, man? Is that Anna? Man, why can't I take that there. shit? Artyom found me. Oh, well done, Artyom. Where do they go now? There's an elevator straight down the corridor. It goes right to the command center. Let's go. Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. She hella killed him as he was telling us something. All these people were all those, um, probably all the survivors and shit that came, and all those cars. So they did, they sent people out there, well, people went out to get the antenna fixed, and, uh, they got really, really sick. But they, uh, got the antennas up and running.
Damn. But it's just meat, no grains, anything. And they're all quarantined too. Damn, so... All the people that were in this bunker, right? They didn't even know, some of the people in the bunker didn't even know that all the refugees that were showing up were being slaughtered. They just thought they were being put in quarantine and they were just getting meat. They, oh man, all these, all, all these refugees are bringing meat with them. And this guy was like, yo, why are they only bringing meat? No grains or anything else. We're only getting meat. Jesus, dude. This whole situation, no. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that's Zelentius with his damned fanatics. You said my screen is blurry? It shouldn't be. Uh, check your, um... No. It appears your there your video options, uh, Frank. Sometimes uh, YouTube sets it on like the lowest there. settings, dude. Eaten here. That bastard! Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. There was a blinking console light. Looked like a city with two bomb locations on it. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. You're right, of course. But do you intend to live forever? <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time with what is allotted to me with that guy over there. I've grown attached to him. <laughs> Damn, we really messed this place up. Simple monsters. So this is why nobody's been released from the quarantine. The fuckers had to go offer me an officer to join the ranks again. So first, they throw me out, and now they want me back. We're not afraid, not in the slightest. This means everything's over up there. I don't need to even check the radio. There's no government, no law, no country still. Damn. I'm on PC.
Trying to see how much ammo I actually have to use in this situation. Damn. Look how many of them there are! It's like a Days Gone horde! from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ, that we were under occupation, that we were still in war, that there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka. Speedy with the sub. Thank you so much. And Gio also with the sub. I appreciate that. I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? <laughs> the satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. I don't like that cough well, that Anna has. A new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn then. <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. Damn. What? We're in a damn desert, dude? I 
Out of all of the type of areas I thought we were gonna see, I, this was not place. one. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. Gotta tell the Baron. Somehow, I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off, but the others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. Thank you. You and the Mir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. Uh, Shit. See. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Demir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. We'll do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Yes. <laughs> Can your rail car pull the train? I think I got a workbench down here, right? Really nope. Slow, we thought we had a workbench. We, we don't have much diesel left. Look at this place. Clear. Artyom, I've got something for you. Are you going out? Look here, then. This is something I finished just now. Well, I hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Oh. Some explosive ammo right there. Now, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. So how'd you find the premises, Don't dude? forget to clean your guns regularly. Like with all the sand around. So he hooked it up with some uh, explosive ammo. All right, here's the bench. All right, so yeah, we can craft little explosive rounds for our our gun. That's pretty sick. Now this area is nice and open. Um, man, I want I want to configure a better sniper rifle. But it's like, what do I do, guys? It's like, I, I think I could probably turn this AK into a pretty good sniper. Maybe. Um, how, how big is this scope? Yeah, I mean, I could. But this... Ooh, we got the night vision scope I could put on it. I don't have a long range scope for it, though. Let me see here. We're going to make this standard again. Okay. And we'll swap it. So what guns do I have? Um, I got the Gatling. I got the Kalish. The Bastard, which is... So is there a gun that turns to a proper sniper rifle? It's not this one, is it?
Okay, so there's an actual legit sniper rifle in the game? Okay. So for now, I'll just continue using the revolver. Um, it, it's been doing all right for us, you know what I mean? Joe, what is going on, man? Yeah, we'll just, we'll, we'll use, uh... We'll continue using our revolver. Okay, got our AK, we got this. I don't think this metal detector will be as annoying in this area. Mm, Artyom, <coughs> wait, I'm coming with you. I think I could use a little walk right now. Stopa, you can hardly walk. You'd better rest while it's not your shift. Well, Artyom, I really do feel kind of under the weather now. Maybe next time. Hey, Joe. You're from right. Brazil, what Our is up, man? We are going out for a simple recon, not a fight. Exactly, dude. And what if they get attacked? We're not, we're just reconning. Then they'll retreat back to base where you and Sam cover them. So you should rest now. Yes. You're right, Katya. Yo, this place is sick. I, I really like let's check this building really quick. Um see if there's anything in here. Marcel, thank you so much for the sub. Yeah, it's I can tell you now it's hot. Set up the perimeter. You get to the back of the train. Idiot, you get the engine. I'll clean the place up. Then we'll bring step on. It's cooler than in the train. Your word is law, my liege. Shall I commence now? <laughs> commence. Okay. I'd be off then. I'm gonna go up on here in the high ground, see what we can see. I actually don't have a whole lot of ammo f left for this, uh, this sniper pistol. Wow. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on here. Okay, so there's more to the area down the tracks that way. Um, but my job is to go check out this little town here, so...
There's snakes? Where the fuck is it? This game's trolling. Now I gotta watch out for snakes? Dudes don't look friendly. If that's one of the guys that are in this area, looks like we're gonna have a fight. I mean, oh, that's a damn sandstorm right there. Seriously, that's a mega sandstorm. Seriously. We got some ghouls. <laughs> I wish I had a scope on this thing. It would be so nasty with a scope. Yeah, that's gonna be a nasty sandstorm, guys. Yo, this this map is pretty dope. This might be a safe house right here. Yeah, I'll be playing the DLCs for sure. Boy, that is a big donation. Thank Boy you donated so much. Twenty dollars. Oh! It's about with the sub. I see. Yeah, they look like fucking rocks, dude. That is some hella good camouflage right there. And they're hiding their heads. It's 
fucking things are annoying as shit to shoot. Let me go ahead and swap over to our... I should have tried out those incendiary rounds too. We got to see how good those things are. I just don't know how to swap the ammo. Oh, there it is. I figured it out. So these are the incendiary rounds. Let's give these things a, ch a shot. See what they're all about. Goddamn thing attacking me? Jeez. It's a pack of them coming down the train tracks. Hey, they're pretty damn good, guys. That was a one shot, and uh, we burned them. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is a sniper rifle, I think. Let me see if I- I don't even know if I have any attachments that I can put on this thing yet. Well, let's give her a go. Okay, so we do got different barrels for it. We could throw a long barrel on there. Mm. What does the scope look like in the daytime? Nope. You could like quick scope with it, but that's not gonna work. Damn it. Uh, well, hopefully we can find a scope around here at some point. We got a little group out there. We got another building over there that we could check. Let's get up into these ruins. Hopefully, uh, there's not too many of those ghoul things in the, in here. Seen the snakes this time. 
Dude, I'm ghouls camouflage so well though. Especially in this tall grass where you can't see shit. I don't know what they are, but they remind me of ghouls from Fallout 4, so that I just started calling them ghouls. some kind of nests or something that might be for those dudes there's a pool right there Things are everywhere. Yeah, so that over there is another monster nest for sure. We'll go check out this building in front of us. ghouls down in the road here. I'm pretty sure they're dead though, because it looks like there's like birds or whatever eating them. These ones might have been killed by the humans. 
Yeah. Let me get more ammo right now while we got a chance. Guys, we're almost at 200 likes. I really do appreciate that. Seriously. Huh? Let me get one. Why didn't you make some for me? You didn't ask. That too. And I didn't know you were making more. I want one without the grass in the thing. He's who's gonna have us fighting already. Alright, I wanna push in and check this store. Shit, yeah, that storm is really, really coming in. <laughs> I'm not really going to be able to do much, uh, in the way of recon with this storm. Damn. Humans and monsters. Do I need my mask on? Yeah, oh, shit. Okay.
Air is running low. Oh, it's hard to aim. Whoever came in here, he definitely raised hell. Yeah, I can already see the sand building up on my damn gun. It's crazy. Him with him, gas mask. I think they had him trapped in that, uh, that room right there. Oh, if you holster it? Okay, that'd be... Okay, looks like the dude might have took some damage. He has blood. Coming here. Oh, single, uh, single action. Like, you load one bullet in. Oh! 
Him in the shoulder. Yeah, me. So the storm's gone, which is nice. Raven HD. Hey, man, I'm doing really good today, man. Thank you so much for that super chat. How are you doing? Okay, so we just got to make our way over to the car, it looks like. Let's just drop down here. Oh, there was a zip line up there, wasn't there? Dude, can I really drive this thing? No way, dude. chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. In my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. Uh, I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. Yeah, wow, well, that's pretty damn far away, dude. <coughs> Once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya. Yo, we really get a car, guys? Like, the fact that there's vehicles in this, it, it, it's just, it's so much better. Urbanu, thank you so much for the sub. Hey, it's a little, it's a little rough. It's a little rough. But, um... We keep her clean though, you know? Listen up everyone! The Baron is about to speak! Listen up everyone! The Baron is speaking! Gentlemen, I received news of some traveling gang on a train invading our territory. This is unusual. 
Since as far as I remember, we did a pretty good job of teaching the neighbors that actions like this end up costing them. These newcomers seem slow on the uptake. Or not from the neighborhood. In any case, we should find out who they are and what they want. I'll call the people that I need separately. The rest of you are to ready your cars, guns, and combat trained slaves. It might all be needed soon. As you were, everyone. The Baron has spoken. Damn. Maddox, what is up, man? Alright, so let's see here. Um, we do got a couple areas right where we are that we can we can check out. Freaking snakes everywhere, man. I hate passing through these ruins because it just increases the chances that I'm gonna run into one of them damn ghouls. Should be up here in this compound somewhere. <laughs> there we go. Maybe. Damn dust bunnies, man. What are what are those things called? Dust dust somethings. Dust devils. No, dust devils are just small little mini tornadoes. Um whatever. You guys know. Chat always knows. Tumbleweed. Yeah. I was pretty close. All right, so this is another monster nest uh, right there out in the middle of the field. It looks like there's another area. So we're going to hit the road. And the vehicle will drive up a little bit. There is that boat over there we could go check out. That looks like it might have some freaking loot, right? Password is Tumbleweed. <laughs> George, I was so close, man. That was so close. Yeah, seeing this. The tumbleweeds like got a mind of their own. Yeah, seen this boat, and I was like, "Yeah, I wonder if we can get get on it or in it." <laughs> it's high noon. McCree just got tumbleweeds. It, 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 McCree could be on the on the space map in the Horizon Lunar Colony. He still got the tumbleweeds flinging all over the place. All right, so I don't know how to get into this damn place. I wonder if I gotta like get my car or something and stand on it. Can you? St Shit, we got a pack of those. Uh ghouls over there. Oh, there's sandstorm coming in, right? Nah, nighttime is coming soon, though.
All right, so we continue what to go straight down the road that we're on right now, and then yep, yeah, stay to the left. As you guys know, my driving is top notch. Testing her out a little bit, you know. Looks like there was something on the map uh, out in the. Yeah, I think it might be that truck over there. And we got a group of ghouls on the road. Go away! Jesus, man. I didn't expect to get jumped by a horde, but okay. And that's a horde, guys, in this game. Feels like a damn horde to me. So I got this sniper. I have no ammo for it. Um, at some point, we gotta make our way back to the train. See if we can get our hands on uh, crafting some. Oh, here's another boat. Yeah, we could definitely get in this one. Oh, look. Something up there. Everything's so sandy. Where'd it go? I see the one over there. Where'd he go? There was one just walking around this bridge. Unless he... I might have laid back down. Yeah, I think it's right there. Nope. There it is. Holy shit.
I do like the air upgrade that we got on this gun. Um, it's significantly better than the uh, the stock one. Man, like you take like four shots, and you're pretty much out of air. Whoa, 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 what is this? Uh, this looks like potential upgrades for our sniper. So let's strip those. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yes. Let's take a minute. Hey, Amir. Was Amir not feeling well? Self quarantine. Hey, man. I'm glad I could help you out, dude, and get you through that, man. I know that quarantine shit can't be fun. Okay, here we go. So I got a, I got an extended stock, which increases my stability a little bit. And that's the assault stock. That's not even like a sh actual long-range sniper stock. Um, and then we got this. So I can now actually have a magazine. Even though we don't have any uh, ammo, but it, it's better than uh, what we currently have, which is nothing. I'll throw an infrared on there. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Um, I could throw the night night vision on right now. It's about to be getting laid out. Uh, I don't believe we... St still don't believe we have any ammo. Oh, we got two rounds. Two rounds. So once it's actual nighttime, yo, we'll be out of hunt with this damn gun. No, I gotta check out the boats, guys. And look at this place. So you can tell this place used to have water. Uh, or like the ocean or something used to be over here. Obviously, it's a freaking lighthouse. But, alright, let's get back to our car. We're at 200, almost 250 likes, guys. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, we're gonna take the uh, we're gonna take the truck, our van. What would this even be considered? This is a van, right? Yeah, I'd say this is a van. Definitely a van. Qualifies as a van. You know what I should have done while we were up high. Should have used the bino binos. My bad, guys. Hold on. Give me a sec. Let's get some high ground here. Let's see if we can scout some stuff. I mean, it's not hard to scout here because you can kind of see forever. Okay, something in the depression right there. Looks like another possible ship. There's a lighthouse. Yep, there's a satellite array. That looks like a checkpoint right there. Wow. I like this area a lot. This area is super dope. All right, let's see. How many more POIs we got? We got a quite a few POIs right there. Okay, awesome. So we'll take uh, we'll take our truck down. We're going to hang a right. And uh, there's a POI right off the road there we're going to check out. Oh, 
Well, Randy, we're still live, man. Um, so uh, you see that pack of uh, whatever those little guys are? They actually look like they might be making their way toward me. Wow, there's quite a few of them over there. Hey, Wayne, get that good sleep, man. Good night. Thank you so much for hanging out. Goddamn scope's getting dirty. Gotta find, we gotta get a bench. I I plan on trying stalker. Holy shit, sir! These things are fast. Yo, there's another pack of four of them over there. <laughs> That's a Russian car. It'll survive hitting creatures. What the hell is that? This was our POI, I believe. Yep, this is it. What? Is that an oil well? On fire? Yep, yep. So dark in here. Ah, there we go. Got a little bit of light. Yeah, too bad they're saying a safe house. that group right there. I wonder if I can get them with a, a Molotov. I don't know if I can sneak up close enough. I don't even know how to aim the, uh, the throwables all that well. Oh. Douglas, man, what is going on? Thank you so much for this super chat. Okay, this one on the ground here sleeping. Okay, I only got two shots left in this, so let me uh, get to crafting a couple more.
things are fast as shit, dude. Gorenson with the sub. Welcome. I really do appreciate that, man. So it seems like two of them ran. It might come back though, so let's be careful. Should be some kind of goodies in here. Generally, when you come to these monster nests, you can find, like, a, uh, weapon or something. I don't see anything here. It's a little bit of supplies, but... Banshee with the sub. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm searching and searching, guys. It doesn't look like there's uh, any weapons or anything here. It's all good. We're almost to 300 likes. You guys are amazing. Seriously. What the hell? Did I get bit by a snake again? Okay, here we're gonna have to watch out. Um, this looks like a roadblock. So we're gonna- man, I wish I could find myself a damn safe house, dude. Alright, we gotta be careful. There's a demon up there. Let me see. So there's some kind of POI up here. Well, now I don't know if I'm fighting the bandits or the the the, the trained slaves. You know what I mean? Because oh, this might be a safe house. They just jump you. Yeah, we got another pack of those things traveling right there. Alright, so I should be able to... 
Ooh, there was a booby trap. That would have been that would have been really really shitty. Oh, here we go. Some more attachments for the sniper. Yep. All right. Nice. We got a uh, we got a new safe house. Now, the only thing is, is, uh, I could sleep to the morning, but I, I don't know, I, I kind of want to scope out this checkpoint at night, because if there is human enemies, I'd have a better chance of dealing with them at night. Alright, let's see what kind of attachments we got now. Yep, here we go. So we can craft sniper ammo now, so... I'm actually gonna dismantle this. Get those chemicals and parts. Oh, wrong one. And we'll craft... It's not crazy expensive, actually. I mean... Could be cheaper. I'm not going to be sniping like that. That's a demon, yep. Whoop, wrong button. Hope that demon didn't lock onto me. Okay, so we'll, we'll uh, craft one of those. I'm going to craft a couple of uh, canisters just in case weather comes in. Alright, so this is our sniper now. Uh, I got a new stock, which is the heavy stock. So this one is uh, actually good for sniping. This, this gun looks straight out of Fallout, doesn't it? Now, the good thing is I can change my scope on the fly. So during the day, I can literally pull off the night scope, throw on another one. You don't have to have a workbench for that. I think that's the coolest thing. And I want to see this feature implemented in... Um, a lot of other like zombie type games like where you can change your weapon attachments on the fly that shit is so dope zachary with the sub thank you so much you know being able to change your loadout and uh for different situations instead of having to use a whole different gun for a situation being able to fit your gun in that moment to be all right you know let me take this scope off put the scope on for close combat you know i i, I like that a lot Okay, so, now the only problem is we don't have a suppressor, so if we let this damn sniper rifle off, it's going to be loud. It's going to be real loud. Man, it is still too damn bright with that moon. How is it not realistic? Brandon, when I was in Afghanistan, dude... I had an M4 with an ACOG on it, and you can literally spin it, and, and, and you, especially if you, if your scopes are sighted in on your weapon already, um, you just mark on your rail system where your ACOG sits. I had an A scratched into my rifle, and I would, there's two little spin knobs, you spin them, and you pull your ACOG off, you can use a little screwdriver or something, literally pop it off, put a new one on, and screw it right back on. Now, the, now realistically, you can't just find a random site in the world take it off and put on your weapon and expect because you need it you need to sight it in any scope especially if it's a new scope on a weapon you do have to sight it in but if it is a scope that you've already sighted in on your gun you could take it off and put it on as long as you put it back on the same exact spot uh on your weapon yeah it, that doesn't matter dude But um, a lot of uh, a lot of the newer site systems, you have double up sites. Like you'll have two sites. They'll have the sites off to the side and your main sites, so you don't have to. Um, and that's when you'll see the guys turn their rifle. They have like a hollow or a, a red dot on the side of their weapon, and then on the top they'll have the long range scope. Do I have a suppressor for the revolver? Yes, I do. But uh, it kills the range and the damage. Ah, I can't even see through that. That is crazy. 
So these guys just look like they're working on the wall. They don't look like a threat. I don't know if I can get my car through here, though, without fighting. Max, you said there's an easier way to set a sight like an ACOG or a red dot without even having to shoot it. Uh, we had boar sighting um, where you didn't have to shoot it. You, it was literally like a laser sight. It's like a, you jam it into the barrel of the weapon, and then uh, you have to just spin the laser and uh, move your sight until the laser and your weapon uh, sight line up. So we had those two, but boar sighting isn't as fun as... Five. Five of them right there, guys. Boar sighting isn't as, as fun as going to the range, you know what I mean? So we're going to try to see if we can sneak. I, I don't, Guys, I don't think we can sneak past this, this wall here. Um, but realistically, uh, you could get a gun pretty... I wouldn't say, like, within, if you're shooting within 100 meters, uh, 100 to 200 meters... If you take about five shots, as long as you know how your clicks and your adjustments on your scopes, um, which is the hardest part because if you've never worked with the scope before, say you go two clicks, you don't know how much of that's going to move your scope. Once you work with that scope a bunch, you'll know, okay, if I go a click or two clicks up on my scope this way, um, you know, it moves it about this much. Uh, so that that's the, the the thing. But I could I could sight in an, uh, an M4 for any of my guys and, and probably like, six shots i do two groupings of three sometimes nine uh but generally we like people to do it within 15 uh 15 because you do each time you sight it in you take three shots you do a, a group you, you try to do a tight group and you're trying to move it to the center of the target and that's all you do um but then you get the guys who get come up to the range they can't even group you know they got one here one here and one here and i'm like dude you need it you need to tighten that up man before i can help you <laughs> so we're gonna just blow through this this wall, I think. So maybe they didn't know I wasn't part of the team. What is this wall location? It, okay, so it's just... It, <laughs> Douglas, dude! <laughs> finally home. Hey, man, welcome. So it doesn't look like there's very many enemies in this location. But there might be loot here, guys. What do you think? It's a big spot. WC, what is going on, man? Yo, it's getting nice and dark out. Okay. So that, that works good for us. Wait, is this the way in?
I think this may be the way in right here. Duck this dude, by the way, you were the first like today. Did it while at work. Hey, man, I appreciate that, Douglas. You know it, man. A WC, you're not lying, dude. <laughs> you don't have to retract that statement, bro. I was so bad at Green Hell. That game was hard. WC, that game is so hard. Okay, so, yeah, we got somebody right there. Um, I'm wondering if we can distract them. I just didn't even care. I don't, was I too far away from him or something? Or is he just not care? That's two cans, guys. Yeah. Forgive me, Ursa. I stupid slave. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Master up there. Yes. Master no all. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so he didn't care because he, he's... It, it's not even a... He's not even an enemy combatant. They're really treating these dudes like ass. the guys in here are slaves they have to have somebody here watching them right first mate's diary so before we sail away tell me to watch containers number 406 it's a special shipment for you know who the answer with your head is. Broke off and fell on board. Or it fell overboard. Taking uh, two of the crew with it. <clears throat> How is this my fault? I wrote down the coordinates. Did all I could. Value shipment. Networks. Damn, so... Th is that going to show container 406 on my map, maybe? It sound sounds important. Why you are? What you do? Who let? Master, no expect you. Go away. All right, how the hell do I get inside here? Here we go. Oh, yeah, they got a master here, so let's let's be careful. Guys, you think we're going to get punished by the holy flame? Hmm. 
Let's just be careful and not just walk up on the master, whoever the hell he is. No, Brandon, that's OP. If drone pilots get flight pay, really? I mean, I get it. Hey, Paul, thank you for hanging out tonight, man. Get that good sleep, all right? So there was... Christ, dude. Yo, I couldn't even hit the button. All right, so now I know that there's a ton of them in that room. Um, what time is it here? It's 10.22 at p.m. Now, these aren't slaves, right? Surrender! You were as good as dead the moment you crossed me! So these guys are free game. I've not tried Mad Max. I bought it though because you guys told me to check it out. Got him. 
shit. Can't go any other way. I could put a silencer on my AK. Yo, I'm actually... You know what? That's a good idea, dude. So you think you can hide? Not for long. Shit. Not for long. Fighting for that. All right, cool. All right, let me go ahead and, um, swap my AK barrel for a suppressed barrel that would be uh good because i got this sniper now um well look how dirty my damn guns are should probably clean them right <laughs> some weapon maintenance i wish i had a long barrel and a suppressor that would be really really nice okay so we'll get that on there All right. So now we got a suppressed AK, uh, so we can be a little more sneaky in our fighty fighty moments. The only thing is, is uh, I was using the other gun, my my uh, this for my my sneaky sneaky moments. But the problem is, is when you get into a gunfight. Whoops. It, it's not a good weapon for gunfighting. We're straight just firefighting bullets left and right. Oh, that's one of the slaves that he- oh, that's the slave he was beaten. Where's what? One of those Gatlin guns? Whoa, 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 here we go. What is that? That's a whole new- that's a- that's- that's one of the shotguns from, uh... From the original, uh, first two Metro games, right? And only if, dude. It's like, sometimes I really want a shotgun for, like, when I get jumped by the monsters. And I feel like that shotgun right there. But is it worth giving up my air rifle if I use a suppressed AK sniper rifle and a shotgun? That that that's what I used in the. I, I'm gonna grab it. Yeah, I was just uh, I was just looting the room while I'm, while I'm, I'm running through my head. The game won't allow you to drop the air gun. What do you mean? So I just have to always have the air gun. Oh, well, that sucks.
president of the of all three people of the Free Canyon. So it seems like there's two factions going up against each other here in this uh, canyon. Uh, so if I try to do this, yeah, I can't swap. That's okay. Well, I want my sniper rifle. And I want my AK. It is what it is. I'm wondering maybe if I could just get an, a, a decent upgrade to increase the air pressure on the air gun so it shoots a little more like a normal gun. Because right now there still is a... Ooh. There's, I was like, yo, why does my AK look different? Because my AK was on the ground. Missed upstairs? What? What did I miss? Oh, up, up, up here. Ha <laughs> ha! Sun's gonna be coming up soon. I was only worried about this checkpoint, but we got through here pretty easily. Have I finished Dying Light? Yeah, we beat Dying Light 1 on the channel. Uh, we're gonna be playing Dying Light 2 as soon as it comes out. Uh, it's gonna be a great time. I'm really, really excited. Probably gonna stream it for like 10 hours straight. <laughs> what is that? Oh, we found a new gear upgrade. I don't know what it is exactly, but we found it. Good thing I didn't miss that. Oh, workbench. Nice. And what is this? Uh, more sniper rifle. I think we already have all of those attachments. Any bed up here? Nah, it's just a workbench. Okay. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to take a second to clean my weapons though. I know, dude. I could have easily have missed that, man. Uh, I've played all of the Resident Evils. Yep. Uh, we played most of them on the channel, too. Here we go. So what was this thing we found? A motion scanner. This is a favorite device. Algorithm. Identify enemy. However, it requires some practice to use effectively. Hmm. Hey, Sean, with the sub. Thank you so much, man. I, I, what's, it's less beepy. All right, that's it. Oh, I didn't clean my weapons. Yeah, we didn't finish Resident Evil Zero. That, that's facts, Caspi. And so we'll get our guns cleaned. The AK. Polish it up a little bit. Sniper's still pretty damn clean, but this thing is filthy.
There we go. So all of our guns are spotless. We're looking good. <laughs> They'd be looking crusty, crusty. I thought they were looking good. They weren't that crusty. Yeah, Stalker Anomaly um, is a game I want to check out because there's another Stalker game coming out this year, right? So that's telling me that there's something right there, yep. Okay. This thing's beeping quite a bit too, man. Stalker 2 comes out. Man, I, Stalker 2, I haven't even played Stalker 1. Dude, relax. I freed you, man. How about any Far Cry? So the only Far Cry game we've played um, was a little bit of Far Cry 6. Um, it wasn't received very well on the channel, so I stopped playing it. Um, but I, I wanted to check out the Far Cry games. They were a lot of fun. I had far, fun playing that little bit of six that we did. Okay, so we're gonna head up. Um, I got a POI out here in the middle of the freaking wood. Or what is it though? Oh, it's up. It's up on top there, isn't it? Can't climb up here. Uh, the new DBZ RPG. What? There's a DBZ RPG? I didn't even know there was a DBZ RPG. I don't know what the hell this is up in front of me. There might be an enemy checkpoint. I also got a POI to my, my left here. So we're going to scope what this area is in front of us. Okay, I don't... Yo, that looks like a little four-wheeler or something right there. You see that? I think that boat right there is the other POI. Ooh. Okay, we got some ghouls. Yeah, Axe, I did not know that, dude. I've not played it. Um I played the Xeno the Xenoverse DBZ games. Those are pretty cool. So as long as they keep their patrols over there, we should be okay without having to engage them. Got another booby trap. Got a bed for us to rest. Yeah, we got a little safe house here. No bench, though. I don't see a bench unless it's outside somewhere. I think it's just a place for us to sleep. Man, I, I never knew about that. Uh, Cause I used to love the Budokai games. Like Budokai was really, really awesome. But 
The only problem with DBZ games is they were coming out with DBZ games and they were just the same thing over and over. Because obviously DBZ is already done over, you know, like the, the sagas don't change, the story doesn't change. And it was just different games doing the same thing just with better graphics and better fighting mechanics, which I was cool with. Um, but then they all start... <laughs> They all started to get pretty, pretty much the same in the later games. But I've never played Kakarot. No, I gotta check that out. That sounds very... Very, very interesting. DBZ Kakarot is so good. See what's over here really quick. So obviously somebody's fighting somewhere. We're close to the lighthouse. I think we might meet that other. They came here with a big group. So this must be the point that the enemy came um, to push the lighthouse from. And uh, the lady that's up there defending is just waxing him right now. Listen, Jove, with the sub, thank you so much. I mean, we're pretty much here, so we'll, we'll, we'll pull the car up a little closer and uh, we'll cut in through that cave, come up behind the enemy. Stalker 2 is going to be over 180 gigs. Damn snake, man. Just want to check this POI down here. That is huge. So we got another... Wow, that's a lot of ghouls. Did you guys see that? Yeah, let, let's let's not mess around with that. Shit. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be doing some. Uh, we're gonna start Nuka World tonight. I'm not running them over, guys. Next thing I know, I'm going to blow up my car, and then I'm going to have you guys making fun of me on how... Damn. On how I blow up cars in every game I play. I know. I already know where that's going.
Who the hell is this lady in here? She really went ham. I thought there was going to be more f for me to kill. Honestly, I thought I was going to come up behind and... <laughs> Jesus, yo, she killed everybody. That looks like a different revolver than the one I have, but I don't know. It's probably the same thing. My fight against the Demolisher, man, it was rough. It was rough. 100% rough. But we got her done. The demolisher himself wasn't the hard part. It was the, um, for me, it was all of the virals that kept coming in and finding a way to work around them was a, was a pain in the ass. How is she going to be able to distinguish me from... Guys, we're, we're working on 350 likes, seriously, on the stream. And you guys are awesome. I really do appreciate it. Seriously, thank you so much for all of the support tonight, man. And Peter said, <laughs> it's a Gopnik. Uh, it's a Gopnik car. It's indestructible. Okay, here we go. This lady went ham. Yep, there they are. So I 
I want to try to get all the way behind. Make sure that there's nobody behind me. Douglas! Every time I watch you get more subs, it's almost... Here's to many more. Thank you so much, dude. How do I know who's slaves and not? Yeah, there's totally a gunfight going on right now, guys, and I'm 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 looting. Fucking bitch! You pay for that! Oh, the Baron will rip your butt for that! Baron D is Baron that! You only talk about the Baron! Why is the Baron not here? I think the Baron is too clever to come here himself! So he sends you the stupid pigs to die here! So I just don't know. Are there any slaves in this fight right now that I'm not supposed to kill? How do they know I shot that one shot? Is that that's a whole new gun oh man I wonder is this better than the AK let me see let me see In the middle of the gunfight, let me let me see. Okay, so we got a bunch of different stocks for it, so we can go heavy stock, add some stability to it. Yep, I can throw the suppressor on it, just like the AK, same sights. Extended mag. She she did a lot of work for us. I was just kind of hiding in the shadows. So we got a new gun here. It's like a bolt pip. Pig. 
I kill you now. Well, they're not. They're not. They're just slaves. You killed my enemies, so I think you're a friend. You enemy? Doors blocked. Wait till I lower the lift. All right. Yo, who is this lady? Because I got a feeling that she's actually badass. She killed everybody. Whoops. Come up to the lid. Now she might be a part of that other faction that we heard of the uh the free people. people into slaves wanted to put me in shackles too <laughs> better death Yo, look at her rifle dude to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. Abandoned? Kyo, we helped you. So could you help us in return by leaving our man inside? Good. I will help. Artyom, you, you have to find the archive. We should be near the command center. Look for shots taken after the war, starting with the year 2013. The Nier will soon be there. You can count on him. Miller, over and out. If we go, we better go now, before more of them arrive. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart. But you do not have choice. I, I don't. We don't have choice. Oh shit, you know what I just remembered, guys? Tomorrow's the 10th. I'm not even gonna be able to stream Fallout tonight. I, I got my dental appointment tomorrow at 9.20 in the morning. <laughs> I completely forgot. So we're gonna have to, once we're done with this stream, I'm gonna have to go, I, I gotta go to bed. I'll do Fallout tomorrow, uh, early in the day, just to make up for not doing it tonight. Alright, so we'll do this part right here. Jay Wiggins with the, s hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I completely forgot, completely forgot, guys. I gotta actually remind Crystal. I know. Straight forgot, guys. That's what happens when you get old. Dude, it's a dental appointment, man. Uh, it'll be earlier in the day, probably um, around the time I did Project Zomboid today. So early afternoon, maybe around like one, two o'clock in the afternoon. I'll try to, I'll try to, I'll try to get her done. So what is this? Extra bright flashlight. I know, I know, guys. 
I'm such a dirty liar. <laughs> Complete. I'm glad I remembered though, cause my dentist, yo, if you miss an appointment, yo, you get charged for that shit. Like straight charge, like seventy five bucks for Ready? missing an appointment. No. Make haste then. We don't have much time. Shit's no joke. Before war, this place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young, alive. Yeah. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks, and people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed, even though the sea dried. Yeah, my, we'll find out when I go there. And she's like, "You got seventy-three point two percent cavities." The rest Only is the young teeth. Remained, and they all obey their masters now. The Munai by Lair say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. But Mountain Dude, dude, thank you so Five much, man, for the super war, chat, bro. My mother died. I was all alone. And then you became an absolute badass. I don't know. You know what? Depending on how long this part takes, maybe I'll, uh, how long do you think this part will take before I got a clean save spot, guys? And I was like, maybe we could just start Nuka World tonight. No problem. I, I, I think we could do it. I think we'll be all right. It's not like I got to be freaking. I know how to open the door, so I've been there. I never went deep. There are spiders. <laughs> I, um. I should be able to frickin' the go there tired. It's not a big deal. I'll follow. You want me to go in there? Are you going to tell me I got a Gwent problem? I didn't even make the appointment, Caspi. It was the only one available, dude. So maybe maybe we'll save it right here. Maybe we'll save it right here. We're, we're about at that three-hour three, three hour mark. Save it right here, and we'll pick up with... This good spot Let's probably start next episode, right? It's 11... I can get started up. Yeah, yeah. So we'll save here, guys. Uh, we got we're at the, about that three hour mark, anyways. Um, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end the stream here for tonight. Um, I, I promised you guys uh, some Fallout Four for tonight. We'll start Nuka World. So uh, we'll save right here. We're gonna start this push forward next episode. I feel like it's a good spot to stop, anyways. Um, but yeah, guys, if you haven't already, please smash that like button on your way out. I really do appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing me over the past uh, few days. And, um, oh, fast, past few days, past few months, but the past few days have been absolutely crazy. So I, I really do appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Like I said, give me a couple of minutes. I'm going to drop this stream down and I'm going to bring up some uh, Fallout 4 and we're going to start the Nuke World DLC. Uh, so again, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.